Hey, it's Artistic Nick. Thanks for the click. In tonight's tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you how to draw Marvel superheroes. Hit subscribe, smack the notification button, follow me on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. Hello, hello, hello guys, Artistic Nick here once again, thanks for the click. Tonight I'm going to be drawing you Spider-Man. As you can see from the start of the video, I'm actually using my Fine Point uh, VTech, uh, very, very fine black ink pen. Uh, there's a lot of detail that goes into Spider-Man on this. Uh, this was probably my most tricky um, cartoon character that I've drawn so far out of all of the Pokemon and the Marvel superheroes that I've uh, I've, I've started this week. Um, there's an awful lot of webbing that goes in uh, to the face and around the legs and the body and the arms, as I'm sure most of you are aware. If any of you have ever tried to draw Spider-Man before, uh, I really do think that the webbing is make or break. If you get it right and it looks as though it's flowing and it's moving around uh, a rounded shoulder or a rounded leg or a rounded arm, you do get the realism. And well, I say realism, it's a cartoon, but you do get the, the sort of the effect that it's moving around a body rather than just being a flat object. Uh, as you can see, as always, I do start off with the eyes. I like to start with the eyes uh, it just gives me a sense of um, of where everything then should fall into place it gives me sort of a, a reference point um, the thing that was quite nice about this was it was a lot of long straight lines so uh, it was quite nice to get a, a good long um, feel for the lines and a nice long smooth uh, line in, in a lot of the places so it does actually turn out uh, quite well on on the video so I'm quite happy with that uh, it's also quite a large picture it takes up uh, pretty much the whole of the A4 um, paper that I'm drawing on it's just normal um, cartridge uh, it, sorry not cartridge paper it's normal printer paper uh, you can get that from anywhere it's very very cheap um, I do find that this pen is now starting to bleed a little bit I don't know if it's because I've been using it so much um, whether I've slightly um, affected the nib uh, but it is starting to bleed. You probably won't see it on the video, but I certainly notice it up close. Uh, as I said, I'm using the, the VTech. It's called a uh, high point um, or fine point pen. Uh, they're very, very cheap. I'll put a link in the descriptions down below uh, to the Amazon site where you can get them. Uh, and as always, if you click on that and you do purchase them, I get a very small commission. I think it's between 6 and an 8% uh, that Amazon do give me, uh, which will uh, help me maintain and uh, keep growing the YouTube channel. Uh, I've been doing quite well recently. I've, I've gained, I think I've gained 15 subscribers uh, since I've been doing uh, the tutorial videos. So if that's, uh, if that's one of you guys, thank you so much for subscribing. Uh, don't forget to hit the like button. And if you turn on the notifications button at the top, uh, you will, uh, it looks like a little bell, but you will see uh, a notification pop up when I do release new content. I am trying, as I've said in previous videos, to be releasing one of these tutorials once a day. Um, they don't take a huge amount of time, but I'm also trying to fit in my realistic graphite work as well. So uh, it's quite time consuming all in all. But yes, yeah, so if that if you have subscribed recently or in the past or, or planning on doing so, thank you so much. Um, I, again, I can't stress enough to a to a young. Uh, and small growing YouTube channel, it really does make such a difference to be getting the uh, likes, the comments, uh, the views, more importantly, and the subscriptions. So um, I'm endeavouring to make this channel um, better with each uh, with each video. Uh, if you've got any suggestions, then please contact me. You can get a hold of me on all of the usual social media sites. I've got a Instagram page, I've got a Twitter account, and I'm also on Facebook. Uh, it's at Artistic Nick. Uh, N1K on everything except for Facebook. Uh, the Facebook page is NIK. So yeah, you can get hold of me on any of those. Drop me a comment. Uh, show me some of your work. If you want me to share that on any of the pages, I'm, I'm more than happy to do so. Um, if you've got any ideas of uh, a future content that you'd like to be making, or like me to be making, sorry, then uh, just drop me a 
drop me a call or drop me a comment on any of those and that'll be fantastic and I'll get back to you you know as soon as I can do but yeah at the moment I'm quite enjoying doing the uh, Marvel characters um, I think this is my second now yes yeah, so I started yesterday with Iron Man so if you've not seen the Iron Man uh, video tutorial uh, have a little look at that now uh, I will be uploading tomorrow uh, the Incredible Hulk so that's that's the next one um, and then I'm probably going to start doing a few of the X-Men. So uh, one of my favourite characters is Wolverine. So I'm definitely going to attempt a Wolverine. Uh, I quite like Cyclops. Uh, and I'm definitely at some point going to do a Deadpool. Um, I might even try colouring that in. As I've said in previous videos before, I'm actually colour blind. Uh, and I actually started drawing uh, just over a year ago. Uh, I was watching a YouTube video, not dissimilar to this. It was a slightly more realistic graphite pencil drawings. Um, and I just tended to get it. I, see, I seemed to get it. I understood what they were talking about in terms of values and shades. Uh, being colour blind, black, white and grey are um, definitely three tones or colours, if you want to call them colours, that I can see and I can differentiate between. Uh, colours, on the other hand, I struggle with. So I'm, I'm definitely red, green, colour blind. I struggle with pinks, browns. Um, I struggle with uh, a lot of the, the, the reddy, orangey tones as well. So uh, it might be interesting for me to have a go at uh, colouring in one of these. It might turn out something uh, uh, like out of a psychedelic movie or something like that. But I'll certainly give it a go at some point. But at the minute, I am, uh, you know, I'm really enjoying doing these um, line drawings with the ink. Uh, I think they're turning out quite well on the video. They, they, they do uh, stand out and there's good contrast between the paper. So just on Spider-Man's little spider now on his torso or on his chest area there, uh, that's quite iconic, just getting the legs right and making sure that the body's in proportion makes it stand out. Um, and uh, as you can see the webbing's really taking shape and as you see the webbing around the, the, the fingers, uh, by arcing it in certain directions, in different directions, you do get the feeling that it's wrapping around a finger rather than just being... Um, just a straight line on a, on a flat piece of paper so that was always my intention to try and make sure that that was something that I I managed to capture uh, and I think that I've done that let me know in the comments if you think that I have or not um, I'm always willing to improve and open to criticism as long as it's not abusive that's absolutely fine uh, I'm not too far off the end of the video now I think I'm just on his, his right leg his left as we look at it but it's his right leg uh, and then he's got his leg on the right hand side of the paper to come after that so before uh, it gets to the end of the video, I just want to thank you guys so much for subscribing. If you haven't done so already, hit the subscribe button, turn the notifications on, uh, leave me a like, drop me a comment in the comment section below. Uh, I'll be um, giving you another tutorial tomorrow. So like I said, I think it's the Hulk tomorrow. And then I'm open to suggestions after that. So uh, drop me a line. Um, again, I'm still doing the Pokemon. If there's a if there's a Pokemon that you'd like me to draw, uh, I've gone through. I think I've done eight or nine now. Then you, again, just drop me a comment. Let me know. But uh, apart from that, thanks again. Um, please uh, follow me on the uh, Facebook or the Instagram. You can get hold of me there. Uh, the Twitter. Give me a tweet. Drop me a tweet. And um, I'm going to leave you to the end of this video now. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you very much. See you next time.